Mr. Terry on where to the show. Hey, man, uh, I saw that uh, you are a big PlayStation guy, and I can't believe that you and I are not friends on PlayStation yet. What's going on? Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good, man. Uh, you, I see Black Ops 4. Is that what you've been on? Yeah. Man, I haven't. Uh, my son's been bugging me to get it. I'm still on Black Ops 3. Uh, how much better is Black Ops 4? Um, I like it. The only difference is Black Ops 4 doesn't have the campaign mode. It's all online. Okay. And um, so, which I which I like. I mean, I like the online mode and stuff like that. But um, the campaign mode will probably come back in, maybe in a later title or something like that. Very cool, very cool. So uh, I saw that uh, you you put out a tweet saying or an Instagram message saying they they like to say that we're addicted, but uh, we're just having fun or playing video, or they're just hating, right? Uh, you, yeah. There was a picture of you and your son, was it? Yeah, my son and my daughter. Your son and your daughter. Okay, cool. Yeah, both both of my children. I have a son and a daughter as well, and my son is really hardcore into computer. Uh, well, he, he likes the platform games too, but my daughter is really into the, the computer games. So it is it's a generational thing that I think they see from us, right? Yeah, for sure. You did you grow up playing video games? Yeah, I mean, I grew up playing, you know, like PlayStation One from the original PlayStation, Super Mario Brothers, and all that stuff like that. And you know, my kids have grown up with it too, and you know, they catch on really, really fast. And um, I feel like it helps with just a lot of other development too. You know, I see my kids. You know, it helps with them critical thinking and problem solving and stuff like that. So um, I have no problem as long as they're being active. And you know, my son is in jiu-jitsu and you know, plays soccer and playing baseball and stuff like that and my daughter's into jiu-jitsu as well as uh, gymnastics as well too so as long as they're being active and not being couch potatoes i don't mind when they play video games at all yeah no i'm the same way man i feel you 100 percent. like you said uh, you know there's there's a lot of other good things that they go along with it it's not all bad but and i also saw that i think on facebook you put out uh something about the the sonic movie i saw a preview of that too that looks awesome right yeah but i have a couple of my friends who are like oh they don't like how he looks this and the other i'm like well how did you like what do you expect him to look like i don't know really what, what you expect him to do like yeah uh but uh, i liked it i'm excited for it yeah, no, me too. My my wife, uh, my wife said she uh, she thinks that they made him look kind of cute, and you know, I get you know they had to, like you said, they, what did you expect? You know, they had to to kind of appeal to to a to a bunch of children, you know. So I think he looks like how the video game looked largely, don't you? That's what I thought. I don't know. Other people were like, I don't know. They're pretty upset about it, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> what do you think of Jim Carrey as the villain? Oh, that's awesome, man. I love Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's uh, he's 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 gonna, he's gonna make that movie. Yeah, I think uh, you know, with the mustache, man, that was just that's perfect. Yeah. I think it definitely did. Yeah. Well. So, um, yeah, man, you got a fight coming up here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, CFFC. How does it feel, man? To uh, you know, I wanted to ask you because you you know in the UFC you won four, or I'm sorry, you won four straight. Then you lost four straight. The roller coasters of that, you know, you you got highs and then lows. But is it is it ultimately a blessing in disguise for you, man? Um, yeah, man. I I, I take everything and I try to take everything in stride and um uh, these experiences um. <laughs> For me, like I, I learned from my experiences. Um, you know, everything that's happened with me in my life, uh, whether it be sports, whether it be personal life, uh, it, it's made me a better person. It's made me grow. Um, so while uh, you know, I lost those fights, and you know, subsequently cut. You know, it's a bummer. You know, uh, working to get to the UFC was you know a huge goal for me, um, a huge staple in my life, and that's where I want to be and compete against the best fighters in the world. Um, it ultimately, you know, it let me know that, you know, maybe I wasn't quite ready. I wasn't doing the right things in order to be, you know, the type of fighter that I wanted to be. And I've made some changes. Um, and, um, I'm having fun just training again. I'm having, you know, uh, I'm learning a lot more as well too. Um, and I'm becoming a well-rounded, a better well-rounded fighter. And, um, um, I think it's good for me and I'm, I'm excited to get back, to, get back in there and compete. Have you changed anything up recently? Uh, yeah, so I, I've changed um, basically pretty much where I'm training, uh, where I'm training, um, and uh, you know, for me, like you know, the last you know seven eight years has been pretty much training the same place, training the same people, which is not a bad thing, you know. Uh, you know, be loyal and, and staying, you know, the place where you're at. But I wasn't getting enough outside training, and after a while, you train the same people, you learn their moves and everything like that it's hard to grow from there um you know you want to grind and be in there and be in the room with the same people that you've been training with and stuff like that but after a while it's like you know this game evolves so quickly and you need to get out you need to you know expand your training a lot more and, and get used to different people different bodies and different skill sets um 
because when you fight, you know, you can be fighting against different guys with different skill sets and different bodies. And, um, it's important to, to have those experiences. So, you know, that's something that I, that I've had to learn. I know that you're not about making excuses. That's just not, and and that's not who you are. But if we're being honest, man, I mean, you you know, the UFC didn't do you any favors. I mean, they fed you four killers, right? Cody Stamen, uh, Sean O'Malley, Tom Dukenois, and then, uh, Davishvili. I mean, so, you know, I mean, it's not like you fought four nobodies. You fought four of the very best dudes in the world, man. So nothing to be ashamed of, man. And like you said, uh, it's, it's all a learning experience. And uh, I think CFFC is a fantastic promotion. So I, I think it's really a good place for you, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Do you know of uh, Jordan Wisniewski? Have you have you followed him at all, or do you kind of just let your coaches handle that? Um, I mostly let my coaches handle it. Um, I, I, I have seen him fight, though, because he, he's fighting in organizations that, you know, that I was fighting in and that I've had uh, our training partners and friends fought. And, um, you know, he fought uh, not his last fight, but his second to last fight. He fought a friend of mine who's also managed by the same, uh, he's now managed by the same management company as with as, as well, too. He fought Ryan Lilly. Uh, so I'm familiar with him. I, I've seen him fight. Uh, I, I've watched a little bit of film. I, I like to watch film on my own as well, too. But I'm, I'm mostly leaving up to my coaches. Going away from the fighting here, besides the Black Ops 4, is there anything else that you really like to get into on the PlayStation? Um, I'm, I'm really into sports titles. So uh, for me, like right now, playing NBA 2K and um, uh, playing uh, MLB The Show, those are my two favorite. But FIFA, Madden, um, um, NHL, uh, you know, all sports titles, UFC, obviously. Um, um, I'm hoping they bring back the Fight Night series or some type of boxing game. Those, those are huge that, that I played growing up. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter are some games that I've always played as well, too. Um, so a lot of fighting games and a lot of sports titles for me. Awesome. Yeah, me too. I like the sport games. I, I definitely prefer them. You, you're right, man. The they, they haven't, you know, the fight nights, thinking about it, they were so awesome growing up. And we don't have those anymore, man. What happened to those? I totally forgot about that. So apparently what happened is EA... Um, all of their guys who worked on uh, the project, the Fight Night projects, were all put over to do the UFC games. So they've been working on that and trying to build it and expand upon that. Um, so they've kind of gotten away from the Fight Night. You know, last one they did was Fight Night Champion, I believe. But uh, there's talks and rumblings that they want to do another one, and that it's also some other companies are supposed to be bringing out some boxing games, two different boxing games this this coming year. Um, and, uh, so we'll see if, uh, Fight Night comes back or if those other two companies put out, uh, two, two, some two boxing games this year, but, um, that's what I'm waiting for. Hopefully by, by Christmas or something like that, they've had some some more boxing games that come out yeah no that's awesome man and uh cool it's very cool that you knew all that i'm glad i asked you because i had no idea very knowledgeable there yeah <laughs> well uh thanks for your time man i know that, that uh i know that you got to be busy here uh take a few minutes here shout out your teammates coaches whatever you'd like man the floor is yours oh uh, yeah thanks uh thanks i mean thanks for having me uh again back as well to you helping uh as fighters promote promote our fights and use use your platform to promote ourselves but um also thank you to uh to all my my coaches and training partners at a4 fitness as well as uh over at cmma chad's gym um working down with those guys as well as blackout cmma appreciate all those guys helping me out uh my sponsors quest nutrition uh, as well as phantom athletics appreciate all the support and uh i just can't wait to get back out there and represent all of them well i, I appreciate it terry and it, it's going to be a good night of fights uh you are fighting jordan wisniewski cffc 75 in coachella california appreciate it thank you very much